It's gravity that keeps our feet on the ground, but mostly we're hardly aware of it. It only matters when we drop something or when we fall. It's gravity that pulls us back towards Earth, and one man has fallen further than any other. In 1960, the Air Force began a program of high-altitude balloon missions. Pilot Joe Kittinger volunteered to fly to the very edge of space. His enormous balloon, taller than the Statue of Liberty, rose 19 miles above the Earth, four times higher than a passenger plane, and more than three times higher than Mount Everest. Fifty years on, Kittinger is still the only man to a balloon so high. The view is awesome. You can see 400 miles. You can see the curvature of the Earth. And overhead, like we look right now, it's blue. It's beautiful blue. But when you get up above 60,000 feet, it gets darker and darker until right overhead, it's absolutely black. Black, just like night. So that's so different than what we're used to. Kittinger had the whole of the planet beneath him. Gravity was about to take over. I took a look out at the horizon, which was 400 miles away. I said a solid prayer. I hit a final button to start the cameras going, and I jumped. And after I fell a few seconds, I looked up at the balloon and the balloon was firing into space. But actually it was me that was falling at an extremely rapid rate. And at about 90,000 feet, I was doing 714 miles an hour. Skydivers usually fall at a terminal velocity of 120 miles per hour because of air resistance. But up here, the air is so thin, there's far less resistance. Gravity accelerated Kittinger towards the planet until he reached enormous speeds. At over 700 miles per hour, he nearly broke the sound barrier. Then, at about seven miles up, there was enough air to slow him down. From then on, as the density increased, I slowed down. I was falling at terminal velocity all the way down. Uh, so I going slower and slower all the way I fell because the density was increasing in the air. At three and a half miles, he deployed his parachute and then after 14 minutes in the air. Gravity finally brought Joe Kittinger back to Earth. <laughs>